Ever wondered which companies aren't just leading, but absolutely dominating the global market? Hold that thought, because we're diving into the world of the most profitable companies on Earth. Imagine the vast oil fields of Saudi Aramco, the sleek designs of Apple's latest iPhone, and Microsoft's tech empire spanning the globe. These aren't just businesses, they're empires shaping our everyday lives and the future of global economics. But which of these titans do you think will top the profitability charts? Well, let's see. Number one is Saudi Aramco. Based in Dharan, Saudi Arabia, Saudi Aramco is a giant in the oil world. It's a company where Saudi Arabian government holds the lion's share of ownership. Despite a 38% profit loss in the second quarter of 2023, Saudi Aramco still outshone everyone else. It raked in significantly more profit than even the tech giant Apple, which clocked in at $99.8 million. But wait, there's more brewing in Aramco. From 2023 to 2025, they've got big plans. Big plans. They're eyeing a whopping 66 projects linked to oil and gas processing and refining facilities. And that's not all. Add 14 more projects for pipelines and distribution. It's not just about the profits, it's about building and expanding their empire, making moves that shape not just industries, but whole economies. Number two is Apple Inc. Apple's financial prowess in 2023 was nothing short of impressive. Although the company's net income for 2023 fiscal year was $96.99 billion, which was less than the net income for 2022 fiscal year, they have some amazing plans after the introduction of iPhone 15. The iPhone, without a doubt, remains Apple's golden goose. For instance, between September 2021 and 2022, net iPhone sales accounted for a whopping 52% of their total revenue. It overshadowed the earnings from other Apple products, like the MacBook, Apple Watch, AirPods, and their suite of services. The key to Apple's profitability is how its strong brand has allowed it to tap into an excellent gross margin percentage. For instance, the company's total gross margin in 2022 was 171 billion. That's about 43.3%, which means for every dollar of revenue earned, Apple made 43 cents in gross profit. Number three is Microsoft Corp. Now let's set our sights on Microsoft Corporation, the tech powerhouse hailing from Redmond, Washington. This multinational company isn't just about one thing, it's about everything tech. Its best known software products are the Microsoft Windows line of operating systems and the Microsoft Office Suite. The web browsers you're probably using, Internet Explorer and Edge, they own those too. But hold on, that's not all. They've got Xbox gaming consoles and the sleek Microsoft Surface lineup of computers too. What sets Microsoft apart other than being a one-stop tech shop is that it stands tall with a profit margin that's nothing short of impressive at 36.69% to be precise. It's a nod to the profitability potential tucked within software software and technology solutions. In the financial year of 2022 to 2023, they proudly pocketed a cool $72.73 billion in profit. Number four is Alphabet Inc. Do you ever wonder about Alphabet Inc.? Well, here's the scoop. It's Google's parent company. Back in 98, Larry Page and Sergey Brin kickstarted Google, and it did grow rapidly. Within just six years, Google took a bow on the stock market. And what catapulted Google to stardom is its iconic search engine, which became the talk of the late 1990s. Fast forward to 2014 and 2015, when the chess pieces moved, Google decided on a stock split and a full makeover, birthing Alphabet Inc. It was a game changer. Alphabet's shares soared, especially during the latter half of the 2010s, riding even higher during the pandemic. Commercially, when we say Alphabet, we basically mean Google. The original company, Google, still pulls in the lion's share of Alphabet's revenues. Everything you know and love, search, maps, YouTube, ads, and Android, they're all cozy under the Google umbrella. In the financial year of 2022 to 2023, Alphabet clocked in a profit of $59.97 billion. Number five is ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil Corporation is the heavyweight in the oil and gas arena. Formed in 1999 through a merger of Exxon Corporation and Mobil Corporation, this U.S.-based energy giant traces its roots back to the late 1800s as part of the standard oil lineage. ExxonMobil doesn't play small. It's a titan in petroleum, natural gas, coal, nuclear fuels, and chemicals. From oil fields to service stations and even a massive fleet of tankers, they've got their fingers in every pie of the petroleum industry. ExxonMobil's profits for the third quarter of 2023 were $9.1 billion, up from $2.3 billion in the second quarter. Quite an impressive rise, and there's more to come in 2024. Number six is Industrial and Commercial Bank of China. The Industrial and Commercial Bank of China is among the world's most profitable companies, with a net income from continuing operations in the billions. Industrial and Commercial Bank of China is all about commercial banking and financial services,
operating through different business segments like corporate banking, personal banking, treasury operations, and more. ICBC, as it's often called, holds the crown for the largest commercial bank globally. Their revenue hit an eye-watering $214.7 billion in 2022, and in 2023, it saw a 13.7% decrease, totaling $166.389 billion. While ICBC is a powerhouse, its profitability can sway with government policies. There's been talk about concerns regarding shadow financing in the ICBC, and that's something to keep an eye on regarding future profits. Number seven is China Construction Bank. Originating back in 1954 as the People's Construction Bank of China, this powerhouse bank is among the top four Chinese banks dominating the list of the world's most profitable companies. In the financial year of 2022 and 2023, the numbers were staggering. They reported a profit of over 323 billion yuan, roughly translating to a whopping $48 billion. This is how they pull off such hefty profits. They banked on nearly 603 billion yuan in net interest income, totaling more than 85 billion. To put things in perspective, they outshone their American counterparts, boasting a return on equity of 12.27%, while America's top dog, Wells Fargo, clocked in at 7.5%. Being majority state-owned, China Construction Bank has held some prestigious titles, like being the second largest bank globally by market capitalization in 2015, and even snagging the sixth largest company slot worldwide. Number eight is Samsung Electronics. Samsung Electronics in South Korea is not just any other big company. It's the most profitable one. Now, when you think Samsung, the first thing that might pop up is smartphones. And yes, they're the biggest players in that arena, despite a drop in their market share. Even though their smartphone dominance has reduced, they still hold the crown as the largest smartphone maker globally. And, well, their production is diverse. It's not just about phones. They also make monitors, digital cameras, washing machines, and many more electronics. Samsung Electronics is just one branch of the mighty Samsung Group, part of a larger network of companies in South Korea called the Shibel, with intricate ties and interconnections among its member firms. Number nine is the Agricultural Bank of China. The Agricultural Bank of of China is part of the four elite Chinese banking giants, reigning among the world's topmost profitable companies. China's financial landscape experienced a shift in the 90s, setting up asset management companies to handle the bad loans plaguing their banking system. The big four banks, including ABC, benefited from this maneuver. However, recent surges in lending directed by the Chinese government have raised concerns about potential bad debts clogging the financial system. In 2023, they reported an annual revenue of $98.5 billion, which represents a decrease of 8.49% from the previous year, but they seem to have a promising 2024. We'll just have to wait and see. Number 10 is Chevron. Chevron Corporation is the energy giant taking the world by storm. Based out of San Ramon, California, it's the fourth largest non-government energy company globally, spreading its wings across more than 180 countries. Chevron is not just dipping its toes in the energy sector, it's diving deep into every nook and cranny of the oil and gas industry. From exploration and production to refining, marketing, transport, chemicals, and even power generation, Chevron has a finger in every oil and gas pie. Ranked 10th on the Fortune 500 list in 2023, Chevron stands tall as one of the largest companies globally and the second largest oil company in the United States by revenue, trailing only behind fellow Standard Oil descendant ExxonMobil. Number 11 is Toyota Motor Corporation. Toyota Motor Corporation is a Japanese-based company revolutionizing the automobile landscape. Based in Toyota City, an industrial hub in Japan, it oversees a whopping 1,000 subsidiary companies and affiliates involved in everything from cars to automobile parts and commercial and industrial vehicles. It secured its spot as the largest automobile brand and manufacturer globally back in 2008, outshining General Motors. Fast forward to today, Toyota is showing no signs of slowing down. In the second quarter of its 2023 fiscal year, its operating profits shot up over 100 155% from the previous year. What fueled this surge in Toyota's strong performance was its hybrid models, especially the new Prius, which drove a remarkable year-over-year -year operating profit increase, closing in at a hefty $18.1 billion for the financial year of 2022 to 2023. Number 12 is Stellantis. Stellantis is the brainchild born out of the 2021 merger between Fiat Chrysler Automobiles and PSA Group. Headquartered in the Netherlands, Stellantis is a powerhouse involved in designing, engineering, manufacturing, distributing, and selling vehicles, components, and production systems. This company isn't just another player, it's making waves in the electric vehicle market. In 2022, Stellantis flexed its financial muscle, reporting a staggering revenue of $176.66 billion. That's not all. Their adjusted operating margin in Europe hit an impressive 9.1%. But wait, they're not stopping there. Stellantis has bold plans. They aim to expand further in the European region, including Turkey, with the goal of maintaining an operating margin of over 10% by 2030, positioning themselves as the region's most profitable automaker. 
In the first half of 2023, they made headlines again, posting a record $12.1 billion net profit, marking a 37% year-over-year surge in just six months. Undeniably, they're all promising companies. But which of these profit powerhouses do you think will redefine the future of global economics? Which among them will turn out to be the most profitable in 2024? Comment down below. That's all for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video. Until next time, goodbye.